Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to flash over REM ICS GB 1.01. So I'm going to enter uh, recovery. Uh, you want to ensure that uh, the ROM is in your internal SD card of your, of your phone. So just entering recovery now. And uh, what you want to do first of all is wipe data factory reset. This is to clear the, clear the phone. Then you want to go wipe cache, and then go into advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. Now we're going to go back, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and go down to rem ICSGB 1.01. Well, as it stands of the 31st of July 2012 that's the one that is the latest ROM out so we're flashing that one right so you can see it's uh, finished go English United Kingdom and we'll go through setup right so it's just booted up go into system settings As you can see, I'm on REM ICSG uh, JB 1.0.1 Helly Bean. <laughs> Helly Bean! <laughs> it's got to be so much Greek, which is Greek, which did that. <laughs> and right, so I've um, reinstalled uh, all my applications uh, via Titanium Backup and I have done my uh, settings. So as you can see, uh, I've done several settings on the phone. For example, that's the brightness control via status bar, um, and it is quite nice. It is quite snappy. However, there is at times it kind of lags a little bit. So you've got loads of options to do different things, which is very very cool. Um, I do think it's a um, solid enough. Um, just just from playing with it for about 20 minutes, I thought it was just solid enough um, to to be used as a daily daily phone. However, I'm sure there'll be some sort of problems um, that might be uh, that might be linked versus having stock gingerbread, uh, for example, or a uh, or a more advanced um, and rock stable ICS. But uh, for the jelly bean, I, I am quite liking it. Um, and some tweaks which I quite like as well. For example, in the status uh, notification bar, you can change those things. Whereas on the Galaxy S um, three. Uh, I haven't got that option yet, so as you can see, like so. So it is quite nice. Um, it is quite a nice, uh, quite a nice phone, um, and a quite a nice ROM. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's made it into a nice phone. Put it that way. So I haven't had any problems so far, and Google now is working. So let's see if my internet will hold to uh, to allow it. Olympic standings. Olympic standings. So as you can see, it is working. It's just my internet is pretty crap. It's pretty bad. Um, let's see if I take it off. Try and make it get a little bar. <laughs> but yeah, I can guarantee you, uh, Google Now does work um, perfectly fine. Uh, I was testing it near my router, and it was uh, it was working pretty nicely. Um, I was getting all the information uh, fed through it. Um, but anyway, it's still it's still recognizing. But uh, anyway, um, long story short, it does work and it, it is um, fully operational as a ROM. Um, but there are some times that it does lag a little bit. It just kind of hangs. Um, you can go into Devil Kernel Config and uh, tweak some things. Um, I have uh, changed one or two things. For example, the Wi-Fi power mode, the Governor profiles. Um, got rid of the backlight notification and changed the CPU governor as uh, mentioned in the XDA thread in the um, opening post right so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video guys uh, please do rate comment and subscribe and do let me know about uh, your experience with the ROM right take care guys bye bye